Hello and welcome to this short video where I'm going to be showing you how you can use Microsoft Excel as of Office 2003 onwards to convert the population file currently available in XML format only into a comma separated value format. So I'm on the Graduate Outcomes portal, which you should see on your screen. I've already navigated to the C17071 Cohort A collection. I'm going to navigate to the population file tab over on the top right. And from here, I can then download my population file for my cohort A. And you'll see here it's only available currently as an XML format. If I hit that, you'll then see this is downloaded here. I'm going to navigate to Microsoft Excel, which I already have open. And I'm going to go to the file tab, down to open, and then browse. Find where I've then downloaded my population file to, which is in my downloads folder. This is the population file, which you can see this is the today's date and today's time. You'll see here is an XML document type. And from there, if I hit open, I now have a box appeared in the bottom right that says, please select how you would like to open this file. I have three options as an XML table, as a read only workbook, or use the XML source task pane. So I'm going to leave that selected with as an XML table and hit OK. Now, the first time you do this, you'll be then presented with another box, which will say it cannot find a schema. And all you have to do is hit OK. And once you then hit OK, you will then be presented with the comma separated value format for the population file. So scrolling along, you'll see lots of columns, which are those that you'll recognize from the XML population file. Just going back, there's just one thing we need to change in here, and that's the first column, the HESERT Unique Student Identifier, the HUSID column. And this is currently showing an incorrect file format. So we need to select the column, right click, go to Format Cells. From there, we need to go to the Custom category. We need to remove the word General, from type, and we need to type 13 zeros. And that's because the HUSID field is to a 13 length string. Hit, hit OK. You'll then see we have a correctly formatted HUSID field. That there is our working CSV, and then you can save that in Excel as a CSV file format. And that is as simple as it is to convert the XML population file into a CSV file format. Hope that helps.